Hey, I've got three lists on review for you today. Two of them are from Sweden, from Andreas in Sweden. So let's go and see what we have. And I think I'll start with Andreas because uh, his is, is kind of interesting. They're historical lists, but semi-competitive. Here we go. So this is the first one. This is a U.S. rifle platoon, and I think is the U.S. infantry box and a couple of mortars. So, so basically, he's built it on based on one box, which is kind of cool. Um, Fourteen order dice, nine hundred and twenty points. So typically, you'll see uh, higher points for most events, um, but you know. I don't know what they're doing right now in Sweden. So um, we've got a platoon commander regular with double infantry. So they, that makes it into a little miniature uh, extra platoon. I don't think they are very survivable in, in um, V3. So for me, I'm going the exact opposite direction. I'm going minimalist, uh, the minimum tax you can pay for commanders because they're not, if anything shoots at my commanders, they're typically just dead. Um, but two ways you can go, and I'm still not absolutely certain which one is the best. Then we have infantry, all of them regular, build on you know, just regular army dudes, uh, BARs uh, on this one here, and on that one, and submachine guns on some of them. This is a good spread, so he has two of the units that are backline. Uh, you could argue that maybe the LMGs are now better than the BARs, um, but you know, Whatever, what suits your your purpose and and your playstyle, and and then a couple of units that you can push up. Ideally, I would want the push units to be veteran, just because that makes them a little bit more survivable. Not a lot, but a little bit, and that little bit is might might be just what pushes them to where they need to go. The aero server that is now absolutely godsend. It doesn't need to be three man. It doesn't need to be veteran. You can just keep it way in your own back line and and keep it safe uh, from enemy forward deployers infiltrators um and then just shoot it twice it's it's absolutely brilliant bazooka team nice heavy weapons platoon i love the heavy weapons platoon platoon commander light mortars two, one two three yes these are good but very vulnerable takes a little bit of practice to get used to them and then bazookas, because you want to suppress that enemy armor. Yes. Yeah. I like this platoon. So nice. And just based on the US win winter box, love it. And then he has a full list here, historical, but semi-competitive, 1,000 points, 15 order dice. Maybe a little low on order dice. Maybe for version 3, the order dice has gone up a bit. Invasion of France, German rifle platoon. So we have, again, platoon commander, regular with extra men. I'm not a fan of that, but, you know, mileage may vary. And then uh, we've got backline holders, double light machine guns, very nice. We've got cavalry. I like my cavalry as well, uh, but it needs the right type of terrain. Veteran. Push. Yeah. And then... Again, an infantry unit here with push, so submachine guns. Again, I would want them to be veteran. Anti-tank rifle teams. The anti-tank rifles are now very, very good for 25 points. 48 inch range. Yes, please. Double light mortars. Hanomac. Not sure that is needed, but it's nice to have for the push units, isn't it? And then an artillery platoon, platoon commander. The 88 flak. That I am not sure certain about. Inexperienced. 133 points for an inexperienced gun. I would not want to do that. Horse-drawn limber, of course, that's a no-brainer. It's, it's so cheap. Panzer three, yes. So we have an armor platoon here. This is the darker panzer. The darker panzer is the only panzer, uh, the only armor now that that really is still a darker tank, and it's really, really good because it it sort of now is king of the field in my book. It's got vehicle options, panzer ones, also nice darker panzers. One, two, three of three of those. Yeah, this is both historical and very, very good. I like it. So that was from Andreas. Then we have one list here from Craig. 
if I can get it to go. There we go. This is a Hungarian list. 18 order dice, 1250. 18 order dice, I think, is good for uh, 1250. We've got a regular platoon commander. Extra men again. What is it with you guys today? Uh, we've got infantry sections with NCO with submachine gun. I would not want to do this because if you lose the NCO to a sniper, then the submachine gun goes as well. So I, ideally, if you can, give the submachine gun to someone else and just have the NCO with the rifle. Um, and veteran, they don't need to be veteran. Uh, if you're having veteran push units, give them more submachine guns if you can. Um, and I like the stubborn, but... I mean, these units, I just I just don't know what the purpose of these are. If they're push units, they need more machine guns. Then we have full strength infantry. This does not need to happen. Inexperience, no. Cut them down, make them regular. Have them be just regulars with rifles and, sub and, and a light machine gun in your back line. That's perfectly fine. Again, full strength. These could be upflankers, though. Um... And if they are outflankers, I actually like this one a lot better than the light machine gun one. Because um, the light machine gun, that, that wants to shoot. But your inexperience makes you worse at shooting, right? The other one's just got as cheap as chips. Rifles. I'll spam them in your flank. But, and that works. Anti-tank rifle team. Very nice. This is an army that tries to have you come at it from the front, I think. So the anti-tank rifle team, that works. Light mortars, uh, doesn't need to be regular. You can save the points, make them inexperienced. Another rifle platoon, platoon commander. Again, with extra men, not needed. Infantry, light machine gun. You're, you're putting a lot of dudes into those. But if you are flanking them, then that's the way to go. Company commander, nice. That company commander, though, he needs something to stand behind, and he does not need to be regular. You can buy him for half the points if you're buying him inexperienced. Get a lot more units in your army if you just cut down on all this chaff. Again, extra men, though he is inexperienced, and this is now the heavy weapons platoon, so medium machine gun teams regular. Okay. A mortar team, another medium machine gun, Nimrod. The Nimrod is absolutely brilliant. Um, so Topher from the Juggernaut Board Action Podcast, he won a tournament there, uh, Operation Mincemeat here recently. And um, Manuel of the German WTC team, he did very well with his Hungarians at World Open War. My own Michael Fee from the Danish team also brought Nimrods and Hungarians to World Open War, so it's it's a thing. Uh, the Nimrod is really good. 7 plus, pretty cheap for a heavy auto cannon. So two of those. Ideally, you know what? I would get an armored platoon. I would maybe take out one of the rifle platoons and get uh, an, uh, not an armored, uh, an artillery platoon. And get yourself uh, some very, very cheap AA guns. Uh, light autocannons. They could really work here. Because you want the enemy to come at you. Uh, and then you can outflank with your inexperienced dudes. But you don't need that much outflank. Um, so just sit back and have guns shooting at him. You could also do that with maybe one needle weapon. I would never suggest to anyone to take more than one. But, you know, a single needle weapon could also be beneficial to such a, a platoon. So a couple of cheap AA guns and a needle weapon, I would do that. I think I would do that. Yeah. Anyways, that was it for me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.